Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy, educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Well, that was quite lovely. I'm glad you're as pleased to see me as I am you. I have to say, I'm quite grateful to just be Gale for the evening. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Illusory magic has the power to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all, imagination. Unfortunately, in that respect, some of my apprentices seem to be rather lazy. Oh, they try their best, of course, and they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them. Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifices you made in getting here. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure that I have plenty of questions for you. I don't see why not. Two heads are better than one. Unless you're dealing with an Etin. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. A time enough to come. Oh, right. You. Hello. Something caught in your throat, dear? Anyway, I hear congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the absolute, isn't that right? That doesn't sound like him. But whichever way you want to remember it, well done, I suppose. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. <laughs> <laughs> 